All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So JP is going to be getting a brand new LR in the near future and it's going to be the LR Bobbity and Zabura that you see on the screen right now. Now the funny thing is a couple days ago, actually no, on my stream today, a bunch of people were asking me, yo Tiger, what's the next LR that's coming on JP? What's the next unit that's dropping in? Honestly, every time they ask me, I just said, I don't know. I honestly have no idea because Bandai just likes to drop random units out of nowhere on people. And it's kind of hard to predict, kind of hard to guess what the next unit's going to be. And uh, as it turns out, I was right because I don't think a lot of people really saw this LR, Bobbity, and Tabura coming. I mean, maybe some of you guys had predicted it, but for the most part, people didn't really know. People didn't really see this unit coming, right? And... Now it's almost here, so uh, in today's video, we're going to break down all the details for this unit, but first, let's pop over to my boy Hydros' uh, Twitter page here, and he has posted the super attack animations for this unit, the 12 key and the 18 key, and I haven't seen uh, the animations by myself yet because I want to save the initial reaction to watch with you guys, so let's start with the 12 key here. Here we go, and uh, let me turn up the volume just a little bit. And uh, let's check it out. Okay, so is it just me or is there no sound? Uh, there might be no sound actually. Okay, so it's not just me, right? All right, th just just watch the animation. Don't worry about the sound. Um, wait, is that it? Hold on. That's it. That is a super short animation. Okay, I don't even know how to react to it because it's so short like i'm used to these animations being like you know 15 20 30 seconds long and that's literally like a five second thing i mean it looks okay it, it, the animation is nice but it's not really on the same level as a lot of lrs we've seen or just units we've seen we've seen in general uh recently right so that's kind of weird uh here's the 18 key super and again pretty short very strange. Okay, here's the 18 key. And we got Bobby with the ball, his crystal ball. We got Dabura with his um, petrifying spit. And then he throws a spear. And okay, cool. I mean, it's a nice looking animation, uh, but kind of lackluster. You know what? This actually makes me believe that this is, this is a free to play LR because. Some people were saying it's summonable because of the leader skill, but based on what I can tell, um, just from initial impressions of the super attack animations, this looks very much like a free-to-play LR. I can't confirm. Actually, never mind. I can't confirm because they cost 99. Okay, so it's a free-to-play LR. I believe it's a new Battlefield LR on JP from the Battlefield shop. So if you guys were saving up those um, Battlefield memories, then you can purchase them as soon as possible or as soon as they come out. But uh, if not, then I'm sure they're going to be you know, around the same price as the other ones, so like 300k or so for one copy. I think that's the price for like the LR, Mecha Frieza, and King Cold, right? Anyways, free-to-play LR, Battlefield LR. I think Battlefield LR, but free-to-play for sure because of the 99 cost. And uh, let's pop over to the details here. Of course, a huge shout-out to the homie Goresh, as always, for these amazing translations. And uh, the leader skill here is LR Bob... Or, no, sorry. <laughs> The name is LR Bobbity and Tabura. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm pretty tired. I was, I was just about to go to bed before the news came out. So uh, I apologize for being a little bit off right now. Uh, the, the evil sorcerer and the king of the demon realm. Leader skill, Majin Buu Saga, category key plus three. HP, attack and defense, plus 130%. So this was what threw me off initially because 130% is usually reserved for... Uh, summonable LRs, right? Like non Dokkan Fest, summonable LRs. But these guys are getting 130% for Majin Buu Saga, even though they are free to play. So that's interesting. But that's good, obviously. It's a good thing. Um, a 12 key super is Evil Splash, causes colossal damage and seals super attack. And the 18 key causes mega colossal damage. It's called Bobbity's Terrifying Magic, causes mega colossal damage and high chance to stun the enemy. The passive is Demonic Control, key plus three, attack and defense plus 88%, gain an additional key plus three, and attack and defense plus 40% if the targeted en enemy is in the attack down or defense down status. So the interesting thing is that they themselves 
don't have the ability to actually put the enemy in attack down or defense down status. So they're going to have to rely on a different unit, um, you know, any other unit out there that will lower the enemy's attack or defense to get this additional key plus three and attack and defense plus 40%, gain an additional key plus three and high chance to perform a critical hit if the targeted enemy is in the stunned or sealed status and obviously that's what they do with their super attacks the 12 key will seal super attack the 18 key has a high chance to stun so if either of these go off then they'll get the key plus three and high chance to perform a critical and uh, also margin power category allies key plus three attack and defense plus 30 percent obviously margin power is the new category um that's uh led by the new transforming boo so uh, there you go, guys. I'm a little bit conflicted about exactly how to feel about this unit because on paper, they seem pretty good, especially for a free-to-play LR. But the interesting thing is that they are a Majin Power category um, support unit, but they're not in the Majin Power category themselves. So their categories are Majin Buu Saga, Join Forces, and Terrifying Conquerors. But they are a support unit for Majin Power. I mean, obviously, in Majin Buu Saga um, or, you know um actually yeah just majin busaga there's gonna be a lot of majin power units the the boos right so um if you run a team specifically with a lot of boos then you know a lot of the units will be uh benefiting from this support but the funny thing is um is that they they themselves this unit itself is not going to be benefiting from this uh passive right here the support so that's kind of interesting and i think it might be the first time that a unit is supporting a category that they're not part of i could be wrong correct me if i am wrong but i think it might be the first time and uh i mean 88 percent attack and defense key plus three and also the additional 40 percent attack and defense it's gonna make them hit pretty decently hard um and the only issue obviously is that they themselves they can't do that themselves right they can't uh do attack down or defense down or you know afflict that to the enemy because they don't have that ability but if you pair them up with any other unit out there that uh, has that ability then they should be hitting pretty hard they should be getting a decent amount of defense and uh, also of course the support here is a nice bonus um but then also the high chance that performer critical is pretty clutch as well so that's going to add to their damage output and they're going to be getting a lot of key actually if you set them up correctly with the right partner who can lower attack or defense then you're looking at key plus nine right key plus nine from the passive so they're going to be getting off their 18 key super very very often very very easily so that's good uh links are master of magic majin uh, resurrection plan thirst for conquest brutal beatdown nightmare fear and faith and legendary power and uh, that's pretty much it man that's all we know about the unit right now we saw the uh kind of lackluster honestly super attack animations but now that I am 100% sure that it's a free-to-play LR. It's quite understandable, honestly. Like, they're not going to put as much effort into a free-to-play LR or a free-to-play unit in general um, compared to a summonable LR like the Majin Vegeta, not Majin Vegeta, uh, the uh, Vegeta Nappa that recently came out or like any other summonable Dokkan Fest unit or anything like that, right? So, of course, shorter Super Attack animations. You guys can take a look yourself real quick. Um, again, if you guys missed it in the beginning of the video because they went by so quick but uh there you go guys not a bad animation just uh, a little bit short a little bit you know kind of kind of kind of meh kind of kind of boring but it, it works it works it makes sense and also i'm sure um they chose the best possible scenes for these you know characters but they didn't really have that many you know hype scenes right they're not very hype characters in my opinion but uh, obviously, they're still fan favorites. They're still beloved by the community. And uh, it's good to see these guys get some love, right? So there you go, guys. That is the video. Thank you to Hydros for posting the animations. Thank you to uh, Goresh for the translations. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this new uh, LR Babidi and Tabura. Once again, I believe they're going to be a uh, free-to-play Battlefield LR right battlefield lr i'm 99 percent sure about that could be another form of free-to-play lr but i'm pretty sure it's for battlefield and uh those are all the details man i mean for now i'm gonna say they're pretty good especially for free-to-play um nothing that really blows me away but maybe i'll be more impressed when i see some showcases when i see some actual 
uh, damage numbers, some, some defense numbers, all that stuff. But for now, they seem pretty good. That is the LR. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.